Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to SST classes. Hope you all are fit and fine and enjoying your studies with SST classes. First of all, I would like to assure you all that there is no need to worry about your studies. I am here to take care about that. You just take care about your health. Definitely, if we will make efforts together, then we will be able to increase increase your knowledge. You will find a definite increase in your knowledge with the continuous efforts. Okay. Along with that, I would like to discuss one thing with all of you that ninth standard is a very important part of your life. Means next year you will be in board examination, but before that, ninth standard will serve you as the base, as the basic foundation for tenth standard. So you have to. Take ninth standard as a very important part of of uh, of your study. You should not neglect that. Okay, so do your studies regularly and try to improve your knowledge. So, guys, in the last video, we were discussing about sex ratio, literacy rate as composition, and along with that, occupational structures means different kind of characteristics related with the population. And now here. we are going to conclude our chapter population today okay so in this video we are going to discuss about health about adolescent national population policy npp 2000 so the first point we are going to discuss here is related with health the first point is related with health guys health is a very important factor which show us the level of development of a country means we can say that health is that level which show us that how developed a country is or we can say that how the people are getting benefits of the development means we can say that without health a country will not be able to make any kind of development because economic development become possible only with the help of human resource and human resource can give its best means the best potential can be used by the human resource only in a healthy situation means a healthy body is must for giving the whole potential is that clear okay so in india if we talk about india then In 1951, the health conditions of the Indians were not good. Means most of the Indians were affected with malnutrition. Along with that, uh, their body growth was not in a proper manner. Death rate was very high. Along with that, child death rate was also very high. Mother death rate means mother mortality rate was also very high. So all these kind of different elements were there, which were there as a uh, backward element for the indian population but because of the stunning efforts made by the government through different welfare pro programs healthcare programs we find improvement which we notice improvement in the health conditions of the indian population for example the death rate of india in 1951 was near by 25% approximately 25% on 1000 horses Which reduced till eight point one percent per thousand in two thousand one. Along with that means here we are talking about the death rate, okay, which was twenty five percent approximately on one thousand persons in two thousand. Ah, uh, sorry, in nineteen fifty one, which decreased till eight point one percent per one thousand in two thousand one. On the other hand, if we talk about the next factor of health, which is average life expectancy, average life expectancy. So the average life expectancy also increased in India, which was thirty six point seven years in two nineteen fifty one. Nineteen fifty one. 
increased to 64.6 years in 2001 and till 68 years in 2011. Okay, so due to the increase of health facilities, we are noticing a continuous increase in the health conditions means the death rate is decreasing and along with that the average life expectancy is increasing but even after all this kind of thing means even after all these achievements we are st still lagging behind in some average for example in India still one third part of the population only one third part of the rural population receiving safe drinking water safe drinking water and sanitation facilities according to the data of 2001 the conditions has been changed uh, due to the increasing efforts of the Indian government means we can see that at present the condition has been improved but still the required level is not achieved by the Indian population okay so this is the health condition of the Indian population now the next point which we are going to discuss here is related with adolescence means adolescence is the most important part of a population and if we talk about India then in India nearby one fifth part of out of the total population nearby one fifth part is adolescent okay so this is a very important part of Indian population so the next point is related with adolescent adolescent okay if we talk about Indian population then nearby one fifth part of Indian population is Adolescent. This is adolescent. Now the question is what do we mean by adolescent? Adolescent generally the persons between or we can say the child between the age of uh, 10 to 19 years. Okay. Uh, it is not adequate to call them a child. We can say that the part of population which grouped between 10 to 19 years is included in the adolescent part of the population it's a very important part but if we talk about India then in India this part which we can say that uh, the adolescent part need much higher nutrition requirement means the requirement in uh, their needs in matter of nutrition is comparatively high than the other uh, adult all or, or childhood so in comparison of them it is need a higher amount of nutrition but if we talk about India then the Indian adolescents are still lagging behind matter of nutrients is there uh, still most of the part of the adolescents suffering with malnutrition especially girls they are uh, facing the problem of malnutrition and because of that they are uh, facing many problems uh, means health uh, many kind of disease they are facing but they are not aware about that so the most important way to improve their condition is uh, generally related with spreading awareness means if we will spread awareness and we will be able to improve their condition means we will be able to improve the condition of the girls and in this way we will be able to provide them a better life means nutrition requirement of these groups should be fulfilled okay so adolescent group means the a part of population as between 10 to 19 years and this is the most important part of the population or we can say that this is the most innovative part of the population and this is the most important stage of a person's life okay and if we talk about india then in india this adolescent group facing many problems especially uh, the nutrition requirement is 
of the, this group is much higher in comparison of other sections which is not fulfilled uh, by the uh, diets available in the country and especially the girl section facing the problem of malnutrition. Okay. Now the next point we are going to discuss here is related with NPP 2000. National Population Policy 2000. NPP means National Population Policy Two thousand. So, guys, the Indian government <coughs> started a family uh, planning plan. Uh, we can say that a family welfare plan, or we can say that a family planning program started in 1952. Mean to say that Indian government noticed that a good family welfare plan uh, would be able to improve the conditions of the families. Means we can say that. A short family would be able to manage all the requirements. So that's why the Indian government thought about the family welfare program and it is on a broad level a family welfare program was started in 1952. A family planning program started in 1952. And as the culmination of this family welfare plan or the Family Planning Program 1952 in 2000 Indian government formed the National Population Policy and BP 2000 which are the major elements related with this and BP 2000. So what is and BP 2000? And BP 2000 is a policy frame, framework which was a result of the program started by the Indian government in 1952 with the name of family planning program or family welfare program okay so the major elements related with this NPP 2000 are providing the first point is providing education providing education Education to children below 14 years of age. Below 14 years of age. The first element of NPP 2000 is providing education to children below 14 years of age. Which kind of education? Free and compulsory education. Free and compulsory education. So, under the NDP 2000, Indian government decided to provide free and compulsory education to all the children below the age of 14 years. Okay. Now, the next point to promote. To promote girls marriage and later years. What I mean to say that is this program was related to make the parents aware to marry their daughters in the later years okay so to marry their daughters to marry their girls in later year this kind of education should be provided to all the parents okay after that the next point was related to match family planning uh, Public oriented program a public oriented program
a public oriented program what i mean to say that is the government started the uh, family planning program in 1952 a broad family planning program was that in 2000 the government decided that we should make the public aware we should make the parents aware so that they would adopt the family welfare uh, family planning program at their own and in this way they will think about making their family small okay so in this way making the family welfare program a public oriented program along with that the government also decided to cover all the diseases which are uh, related with vaccinations means uh, mean to say that the government decided that all the disease which uh, could be controlled with vaccination should be covered up means all the children should receive the vaccinations means they should be vaccinated uh, for securing them from all the disease okay or the vaccine uh, vaccination disease now the next point is npp and arrangement means which kind of policy framework decided for adolescent in the national population policy or npp 2000 we are going to discuss here okay so as we discuss that in india adolescent is one fifth part of the total population but this part facing problem of malnutrition along with that they are also facing a problem of illiteracy so under the npp different kind of programs were decided by the government under the special framework or we can say that under the policy framework so the measures plans decided by the government for adolescent are to make them aware to make them aware to prevent un wanted pregnancy and wanted pregnancy and to save them and to save them from sexually transmitted disease from std along with that provide education spread literacy uh, or we can say that spread awareness among the parents for marrying their girls in later years and in this way adoption of child or we can say that uh, giving birth child in the later years so different kind of policies were decided by the government under the national population policy 2000 for adolescent means we can say that the one fifth part of indian population is adolescent so in the national population policy indian government thought a lot about them and indian government made many policies for them and under this policy framework the government decided to protect them from unwanted a pregnancy along with that unprotected sex or we can say that to make them aware about the unprotected sex and uh, to make them aware for checking them from uh, getting the sexually transmitted disease means we can say that to check the uh, the uh, spread of sexually transmitted disease among the adults and section along with that to provide them education to provide them better nutrition means we can say that the calorie based problem which is faced by the adults in section should be removed and they uh, should be provided with education and along with that the parents should be aware about marrying their daughters in later years and in this way a girl would get better opportunities of development and improvement so in this way in this video we discussed about health adolescent and npp national population policy 2000 if there will be any doubt in your mind while watching this video you can write me in the comment section i will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts
about the next chapter we will discuss in the next video till then stay at your home be safe thank you very much have a nice day jai hind